wake up in the morning in this great blue state. Golden fingers caress my face. Slips through the window on a silky breeze. A dreamer's life to plant some seed. So welcome back, everyone. Mike here. It is a beautiful morning here in western Pennsylvania. The birds are chirping, nice and cold. The ground's frozen right now. I'm down here in the woods, and I'm going to get some of this red pine out. It's first thing Saturday morning, and I figure I have a couple hours, maybe three hours, and it's going to warm up above freezing, and it'll start to get a little bit sloppy. So I'd like to get some of this out today. Actually, what I'm going to do... I'm going to bring the uh, excavator down in just a bit and get everything up to kind of like a landing. And then uh, tomorrow morning, I'll bring the tractor out and just start hauling everything into the yard. So that's the plan. I've got uh, four or five on the ground. They're laying down over that hill right there. And I learned a lesson when I took those ones down. Uh, most of these red pines down here are kind of dying off. And some of them were pretty far gone. I don't know if I can get any lumber out of them. But I've got four little ones down there. And down in here, I'm going to take a couple more. I'd like to get about 20 logs up to the yard there, you know, by tomorrow sometime. All 10 footers. That's what I need. Uh -huh. So far, so good. I got two more trees on the ground. Didn't get anything hung up. That gives me six total. Out of each one, I should get at least five or six saw logs out of that. Uh, so I'll have over 30. What I'm going to do now is hop in a sidekick. I'll go get the excavator. I left all my gear down here and we'll start pulling them out. And I want to get them up in here somewhere where it's uh, relatively level. Uh, make it a little bit easier to get them out with a tractor tomorrow morning. When I bring the excavator down, there's a few places on that trail I've been wanting to fix up. It kind of snakes around. There's a few stumps, a few little trees right next to it. So I'm going to make that a little bit nicer. And then, uh, like I said, later on today, it's going to warm up. Overnight, it'll be cold again. I'll be able to shoot right down here and get a bunch of these out. All right, I'm right up here at the top of the hill. First thing I want to do is get this big oak log out of the way here. I've been driving around this thing for... Uh, 
for about a year. Kind of straighten this path out a little bit. stump right there but it's cut flush it's not hurting anything I'll leave it go instead of digging a hole better. Right out here is a little stump. It's always giving me fits. I go around it with the tractor, but it's kind of hard when you're carrying logs. Good to get that one out of there so you uh so I don't puncture a tire on it or something.
All right, this next one down in here, I'm gonna try to pull the uh, the whole tree out. Well, I did cut just the top off, but it's probably at least 60, maybe even 70 feet long. I don't know if I'll be able to or not. I'd like to pull the whole thing up here to the flat and then cut it the length. But if I have to cut it in half, I gotta cut it in half. But it gets pretty steep down in here. But it is a beautiful day today. I mean, it is just, it's really nice. It's uh, about 28 degrees right now, though. It is warming up pretty quick. But you're out here, you're not in the mud. Make me a little more room here. I got a strap on that log. Not a very big strap either. But this red pine, it's not, it's not real heavy. You know what? Got a little something, something sticking up right here. I'm going to get rid of it right now. All right, this is a nice one here. I'm surprised I was able to pull that out of there, but no problem at all. This one's pretty good size. It's uh, right at about 17 inches in diameter here at the butt. 
out at that end down there it's probably only nine or ten inches but i'll get a lot of wood out of this i will saw this at about uh seven eighths of an inch thick and what's nice about this pine you can plane saw right through the center not hurt anything so there's a lot of boards in here i'm going to uh cut all these to length and stack them up <laughs>
All right, not too shabby. I've got uh, nine logs in the pile here so far. I'll be able to get to these real easy with the tractor. I'll just come right down in here, turn, pick them up, back up, and then right up the hill and out. That'll be good. I'll tell you what, if lumber prices don't start coming down some soon, everybody's gonna have a sawmill. I went to Lowe's last night and I was just walking past some two by fours, $9. I can't remember if they are eight footers or 10 footers, but I'm pretty sure they were just eight foot two by fours, nine bucks. It's unbelievable. I'm not sure how long this is gonna last or if it's gonna continue, but uh, that's just crazy. I mean, a new home construction right now has to be close to double what it was a year ago. I don't know. So I just talked to Melissa and she said the hunt man is ready to go somewhere. It is Saturday after all. So I think what I'll do is carry one of these back to the house with me. I'll grab the sidekick and come back out, get my gear, and call it a day out here. And then tomorrow morning I'll come down and uh, start hauling these out and pull the rest of them up from the valley there. This log that I have here, this is that, uh, this is the butt log. It's about 17 inches in diameter. But look at it compared to that oak right there. It looks like a toothpick compared to that one. That tree there's a dandy right there. Probably. Uh, that's at least 36 inches. Looks good, too. I could, uh, I could just leave this machine out here tonight, but I kind of made my mind up that I'm going to keep this inside every night, and that's what I've been doing. Plus, out here in the woods, you never know. You know, you get a strong wind or something, knock a big limb down on it in the middle of the night. That's kind of stink. So I'll take it back to the house. It doesn't take long. But this trail here, this will be a lot better than it was. Just got those little trees out of the way. Got rid of those couple stumps. All good. It is steep, though. Something else on my list, this would be on my want to do, won't take long either. See that trail straight out ahead of me there? All I'd have to do is clear a couple of them little trees right there and one big stump and I'd have a straight shot. Because the way it is, I gotta go over this way, around that big oak and back up and around. Yeah, I should do that, that wouldn't take long at all. Sometime I'm out here with the excavator, I'll take care of that real quick. The uh, stereo in this thing cranks out. I was just jamming to some ACDC. You shook me all night long. That'll get some trees out of the woods right there. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. I uh, appreciate y'all being here. And like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.